Hey Georgetown, I'm Maggie and I'm a sophomore in the School of Foreign Service and today I'm going to be telling you a little bit about the SFS Centennial and the opportunities for students that come along with that. So first I want to tell you what the Centennial is. So the SFS, the School of Foreign Service, is currently celebrating a century of service to the world. Our school was founded in 1919 after the First World War with the idea of educating students and future world leaders to be able to adapt to the changes that were going to be coming. They had seen that their current structure for international relations, world affairs, all of that good stuff um, wasn't something that was going to stick around forever. So our whole curriculum is centered around learning about the past, figuring out what we can learn from it and what things will continuously apply, and then also learning tactics to ensure that we can take what we've learned and apply it to new situations that have never been seen in international relations before. The Centennial Labs are classes based around applications where sophomores, juniors, and seniors in the School of Foreign Service are able to share their goals for their career, um, certain ideas, things that they're interested in, all in relation to the class that they're applying for. This year, I'm lucky enough to partake in the India Innovation Studio, which is a lab that's taught by Mark Giordano and Irfan Nwarden, who are two of our professors in the School of Foreign Service. So in the last four years of the class, they've talked about things from um, water scarcity to sanitation to irrigation and this year we are talking about roads. While those four things may sound a little bit boring in their own accord, um, the structure of the class is actually really conducive to learning more about the world around us and learning why each of those specific seemingly boring topics actually have a way broader impact than we can imagine. And at the end of the year we will actually get the opportunity to travel to India um, to present our ideas to government officials in the country, which will be an amazing opportunity to apply what we've learned to real world implications. We are learning how to adapt to a changing world and how to not just push, you know, potentially Western philosophy or what we have seen has worked in our own country on other countries. We are learning how to use our own concepts and to adapt them to the culture that we are going into. We are learning how to look past today um, by looking into the past. There is something special about being here during the centennial. Our entire faculty is kind of taking a moment to look back, not only on the past of our school, but on how specifically our school has impacted international relations and how governments actually function today. We are taking it the chance to look back at students who have graduated from the School of Foreign Service and have used this education to make a true difference. So not only are these Centennial Labs an amazing way to push forward that central goal of the School of Foreign Service, but they're also just really fun. Um, we get to learn new ideas, um, do collaborative projects, travel to India, hear from government officials, influence decisions, um, and truly be a part of the world of international politics before we even graduate. Now, if you're thinking about applying to the School of Foreign Service, I 100% encourage you to do so. There is an unparalleled opportunity in this school to figure out how to step into that seemingly frightening and anxiety-inducing, ever-changing world and learn how to adapt from our current grounding in history and in current politics and all of that fun stuff and figure out how to adapt to that changing world and how to be comfortable in being able to truly make a difference. So thank you very much for listening.